Microplastics are becoming a real health issue in 2025. In this year's samples alone, scientists have found a 50% increase than 10 years ago in tissues like the brain, placenta, in the bloodstream. And this is worrying because we can't even eat something without actually considering that these foods might be intoxicated with microplastics. Our water, our kitchen utensils, everything we are drinking, eating, and preparing at home comes with some risk of microplastics. Plastics. So how can we eliminate them? How can we detox our body if we already have microplastics circulating in our blood or in our brain cells, in our skin, within our muscles? We have them all around and you'd be surprised at what you have to do in order to detoxify effectively and naturally. I know it might sound absurd, but scientists have recognized and have discovered that microplastics can even circulate our blood. In 2022, that's three years ago, scientists have discovered that microplastics can be all over our body. They've been found in feces, in mucus, in placenta, in, in the bloodstream, and actually can cross the blood-brain barrier, which is very worrying because these microplastics will sit in some certain tissues and God only knows what they will do to our bodies. Now we know that they can leak certain substances that will disrupt our hormone balance, our thyroid, our ovaries, testicles, everything we have that we need for a correct functioning of our body can be disrupted. So it's a very important thing that we can be able to detoxify from them, eliminate them. And even though we don't have a proven form right now, we, there are many things that we can do to make sure that this happens at, and that this doesn't keep on going on in our bodies today. Number one, you need to reduce the exposure in order to detoxify. Everything you think of that is going to be a toxin to your body needs to be eliminated by the entry before you even think about reducing whatever you have inside and detoxifying whatever has been accumulated. If you are detoxifying properly but you're still eating these chemicals, these plastics or microplastics that come in tea bags, that come in bottled water. Even when you go on a when you go on a hike, you take a bottle of water, well, you are actually making sure that that plastic is leaking into the into the water because of the sun, because of what you're cooking with, the utensils you're using, the recipients you're using to put on the microwave. If you're not stopping to use these products, you're not gonna see any detoxification. You're just gonna keep on accumulating more and more. Now, an interesting fact and something that has been measured is that if you're using all of these utensils and all of these ingredients or foods that come contaminated with microplastics, you could be ingesting that doesn't mean you're absorbing everything, but you could be ingesting five grams of microplastics per day. That's what about a credit card is. The amount of mass a credit card has in plastic, you might be ingesting every single day and you are not noticing it because you're not actually looking at what you're eating every single day or what you're preparing at home. So make sure that you get rid of all these trash utensils and start using things that are gonna actually work, that are not gonna intoxicate you. Maybe even wooden recipients or wooden, wooden jars wooden wooden teaspoons or whatever you can use that is actually going to work instead of using plastic when it comes to using them at home. Number two, you need to make sure you are supporting digestive health. The digestive system is going to play the role of absorbing all these microplastics that you are ingesting. And if you're not taking care of the first step that is going to be used by your body in order to intoxicate you, well, you might be doing things not the right way, the wrong way. The thing about your gut is that you need to make sure that you you have everything in place in order for these microplastics to be uh, captured and taken out of your of your body before it even gets absorbed through your feces through that detoxification natural detoxification every single day when you go to the bathroom that means that in order for this to work you need to make sure that your food contains first of all fiber and it contains fiber that will trap cholesterol sugar and microplastics in order for these to be expelled every single day from your body you need to make sure that you're not constantly constipated because if you're constipated well you're having all these materials stay in your body longer with the risk of being absorbed more frequently or with a greater intent by the body you need to make sure that you're going to the bathroom every day remember probiotics play a role in activating the immune system they play a role in making sure your immune cells can recognize these microplastics in order to be trapped and be eliminated if you do not have probiotics if you don't have a good microbiome how is this even going to work that's not going to be possible you you need to make sure that you have a good fiber ingestion every day, you have good probiotics, you're not constipated, you have water, 
because if you don't have water, you're not going to the bathroom, you're not emulsifying, mixing, or making sure that this is being washed out. And last but not least, making sure that your foods are being detoxifying instead of being intoxicated. If you need something natural for this purpose, you can look for something that is a detoxifying agent like activated charcoal from Fineland. Maybe something like Laxi Prune, which will help you, help you with fiber to go to the bathroom every day. Or something like OxyClean that plays a role in making sure you have that colon cleanse every single day the proper way, the way you need it to happen. Number three, you need to support your liver and your kidneys to detoxify. Both of these organs, once those microplastics have been absorbed, they have the capability of recognizing if these substances are natural or they need to be eliminated. Now, if they need to be eliminated, you need to make sure that your kidneys and your liver are up to par or actually healthy in order for this to happen. If you have a fatty liver, if you have too much cholesterol, if you have too much, too much high blood sugar levels, these organs are not going to function. They're going to be dealing with this situation instead of dealing with, micro, dealing with microplastics, which need to be dealt with. So make sure that your liver is healthy, that your kidneys are healthy. And if they're not, try to help them help them get rid of that fatty liver, help them get rid of those kidney stones. All of these, all of this helps. Now, if you need something natural for these organs specifically, look for HepaClean, Purify You, Essence, and also Thistal Essence from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number four, you need to sweat and you need exercise. Everything that needs to be expelled and detoxified out of the body needs circulation. It needs mixing. It needs exercise. If you move, your blood is going to move. These microplastics are going to move with your blood. They're gonna pass through the kidney. They're gonna pass through the liver. And you need sweating also, because remember, these microplastics will pass the skin barrier. And if you have, you have them right on top of your skin, the thing that is gonna help them be eliminated is sweating. So going to the sauna, exercising, going out for the run, everything that you can think of is going to help this make it happen. Number five, supplements and healthy foods. And yes, the body also has a way of detoxifying with foods, detoxifying agents, teas that don't come in microplastics, which by the way, now teas have become a problem because if you're drinking them in tea bags, you are liber liberating thousands of microplastics that you are ingesting. I'd say one of the one of the worst sources of microplastic are tea bags. Be careful, but you can drink tea that is made at home without tea bags, like ginger tea, which is detoxifying, curcumin tea, something that can help you digest, like for example, Broccoli, which is a detoxifying agent for your liver. Broccoli, cabbage, kales, kale sprouts of all sorts. All of this is going to be able to help. Remember, supplements and foods are the specialty of the body to be used for this purpose, like spirulina, activated charcoal. Look for omega-3 max cod caps, or maybe even purify you from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to eliminate all those microplastics from your body because when research comes around 10 years from now, you are going to wish you did this video every step of the way. God bless and take care.